Hey everybody, it's Rich Uzalak again. It's been a while since my last video. Um, and I figure if I keep trying to make something perfect or, uh, you know, whatever, I'll never get anything done. So I'm just going to wing it. And this one is, uh, uh, it's a bit of Stoic philosophy by a philosopher named Epictetus. He was a Roman slave, uh, literally a slave. Uh, his master broke his leg at one point in his life. Um, and so he, they hobbled him a bit and this uh, Roman slave was amazing in that he learned that no matter what happens to him outside, what happens to him inside is in his control. So uh, I'd like to read, I know the camera's not set up right, but whatever. Uh, this is a uh, page out of today's The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. All credit goes to Ryan. He's a great guy. You can get this book anywhere. Number one, the Wall Street Journal bestseller, The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. So anyway, uh, today's uh, reading, October 25th, is two tasks. You have two tasks in life. This is a quote from Epictetus. What then makes a person free from hindrance and self-determining? For wealth doesn't do this, neither does high office, state, or kingdom. Rather, something else must be found. In the case of living, it is the knowledge of how to live. So what Picasus is saying is no matter what happens to you externally, you can't really control that. You can do your best to, you know, control what happens to you. But if it happens, it happens, and you can't dwell on that. What he did concentrate on as a slave, as a crippled slave in Rome, was what he could think about in his own mind and do whatever he could do. So Ryan goes on to Ryan and um, goes on to discuss, you know, what are those two tasks that you can do in life? And he says you essentially have two essential tasks in life. To be a good person is number one. And number two is to pursue that which you love to do in the life. So um, I think everyone is constantly learning. I'm saying that maybe because I believe I'm constantly learning and I haven't arrived and probably never will arrive. But as you get older, you start to appreciate being a good person, what that means. I got to spend the weekend with family back in Pennsylvania. There was a wedding there. Um, Mike and Jackie got married and you know, my brother Stephen's uh, sons were there, his three sons, Mike being one of them, and then their kids and then all the uncles and family members and their parents. And there's 150 people at the wedding and then lots of parties afterward and getting together and just looking around how healthy they are. They care about family, um, they care about their children, they care about their parents. Parents care about their children and their grandchildren and, you know, just being a good person. It's really, really important. And I think that's the number one thing we can do in life is just be a good person. And part two of this, we'll discuss doing what you should do.